Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to run through a short demo on how to get your calendar project started um, and just give you guys some brief explanations of what you need to do in order to complete this project. So this video is going to go pretty quick. If you need to rewind, if you need to pause, if you need to watch it multiple times, please feel free to do so. So to start this, we're going to go to File, New, and Document. If we can get our computer to work. We are going to call this last name, comma, first name, calendar. Our dimensions are going to be in inches, so make sure you select inches. Your width will be 11. Your height will be 8.5, which gives you an orientation of landscape, which is this one. The number of pages that you need, oh, I've drawn one. The number of pages that you need is 26 pages. There are 26 pages in this entire um, project. Make sure that facing pages is not checked. We wanna start on page one. We do not want primary text frame. Our columns, we want one. Our gutter is 0 0.1667. And our margins are 0.25. Make sure that it's all of them are 0.25. And remember, we don't ever mess with the bleed or the slug, so we're going to leave those at zero. And we are going to create our new document. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to make sure that your workspace is Essentials Classic for now. So we're going to go to Window, Workspace, and Essentials Classic. Um, your first panel that you should see on the right hand side is pages and remember guys I am going really quick so feel free to slow this video down or rewind and pause as much as you need to. So we're going to open up pages. You're going to see at the top you're going to see an A master and a none and then you're also going to see all 26 pages within your document. So we're going to start by making a master page and this master page is going to be for your dates. So we are going to come to this box with the lines in it and we are going to select new master. We are going to have it a prefix master B, that's fine. The name is going to be dates and then that is the only thing we're going to change. Leave all your other settings the same. So you want to make sure before you start to work that you're not selected on one of these pages so it's not highlighted in blue. And then what you are selected on, if you need to double click, is the B dates. Something you can do to check to make sure you are on a master page and not on your whole document is come over to your board and try and scroll up and down. If you only see one page, then you're on a master page. If you can see multiple pages, then you are not on the master page. So be sure that you have B dates highlighted and you can only access this one page. So now what we're gonna do is we are gonna put in guides. These guides are gonna help you draw your lines for your calendar side of things. So the guides are used by pulling down from our rulers or pulling, um, pulling from the right from our rulers. Your rulers should be at the top. If you do not see them, I want you to go to view and then you should have an option. Mine says hide rulers because my rulers are on. If your rulers are off, it will say show rulers. So it'll go to view, show rulers. So make sure you can see your rulers. So we're gonna be able to do this pretty quickly. So I'm gonna to come to my top ruler and I'm gonna hover over it and you'll notice my cursor changes. I'm looking for that cursor change so that I can drag down from this ruler. I'm gonna click in with my mouse and then drag down and just release that blue line anywhere. It doesn't matter where. And when you release it, what you're gonna see up in this top corner is you're gonna see an X and a Y. You're only gonna be able to change the Y because you just have a horizontal line. So we're gonna change our horizontal line, our first one, we're gonna type in this box 2.2625 and hit enter and it is gonna move our first guide to where it needs to be. We're gonna come up to our ruler again, click and drag down, release anywhere, and we're gonna change that Y. This is going to go to 3.375. Again, um, this is all in your instructions on the assignment, 
but I just think it's easier to have it visualized and help someone walk you through it. So we're gonna take another guide, we're gonna drag it down, release it anywhere, and we're gonna change this number to 4.5. And I accidentally have a guide here, so I'm gonna click on it, I'm gonna drag it down, and this one is going to be 5.625. Enter, and one more for our horizontal lines. Click, drag down, we're gonna type in 6.625. Now we're gonna do our vertical lines. So right now we have our horizontal lines that go across our document to help us draw that grid. So I'm gonna come over here to the left side, hover over my ruler, wait for that cursor change, click and drag out and release anywhere. And now because we're working with a vertical line, I'm gonna be able to change the X. So I'm gonna change this to 1.925. Click and drag again change my X to 3.365. Click and drag out again. This one is 4.8. Click and drag out. This one is 6.225. Click and drag out. 7.65 and final, I believe this is the final one, which is 9.0875. Okay, so now we have all of these grid lines. You'll notice that the boxes in the middle are equal sizes, but the boxes on the exterior and the top are a little bit bigger. That's because typically in a calendar, the weekend days are bigger. And then you want a bigger spot at the top for your date and your, or your month and your year. Excuse me. <clears throat> so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw our lines. And we're just gonna start with really basic lines. And then we're gonna go in and make beautiful adjustments to pick the theme we want. So we're gonna take our line tool. We are gonna start with our horizontal lines and we're gonna start at the pink. We are not going to start at the edge of the document because remember, our printer can't print all the way to that edge. So we're gonna start at the pink. We are gonna click with our mouse right at that intersection of our guide in the pink. We're gonna hold down shift as we click and drag across. And we're just going to go to the pink, release our mouse and release shift. If you aren't seeing your line, make sure you come up here and you double check that you have black and that you have a big enough line to be able to see it. So we're gonna take our line tool again. We're gonna to come to our second vertical or horizontal guide. We're gonna click right on the pink in the intersection, hold down shift, draw all the way to the pink, release your mouse, release shift. Click on the intersection, hold down your mouse, hold down shift, draw across, release your mouse, release shift. And I'm gonna do this for all of my horizontal lines. Now I may need to go back in and make adjustments a little later, but um, right now I'm just trying to get my lines in place and then the last one I'm gonna draw is actually going to be on that bottom pink line so that I can close everything out. Okay, so now you will see that I have, and I'm gonna come back in here with my selection tool and I'm gonna make them a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. And I may be missing a line there. I'm just coming in and clicking on my lines and just trying to change the size of them. And sometimes it's hard to get that line with your mouse. So if you need to zoom in, it can't hurt. Cause sometimes you're gonna select that guide versus that line like how I am. So I'm just gonna zoom in and make sure I get that line. 
So everything is three points, perfect. So now I can kind of see what I have. Now, what I can also do, remember guys, is I can change the view. So I can come to view, I can go to um, screen mode, and I can go to preview. And so now it's a little bit easier to click those lines and change them to three point if I want to. Like I said, later you can go in and you can change the color, you can change the design, we're just getting the basics in to start. So now we're going to do the same thing with our vertical lines, but we're just not going to start at the very top. We want this area here to be open so that we can put our days of the week and then we can put our month and our year. So I'm going to go back to my view, screen mode, and then back to normal. So I'm going to take my line tool and I am going to start on the pink line and I'm going to be very careful that I want to intersect with my original horizontal line that I just made. So I'm going to click, hold down shift, draw all the way down to my bottom line, release my mouse, release shift. Come to my second line, click, hold down shift, release my mouse, release shift. Come to that intersection, click, hold down shift, release my mouse, release shift. And I'm going to repeat this process for all of my vertical lines. And I am using a trackpad at home. I know it's not the easiest thing in the world to use the trackpad, but right now I don't have my mouse hooked up either. So it is absolutely possible um, to draw these straight lines and be really precise while using a trackpad. And then my final line is gonna be on my pink margin. And again, I'm always releasing my mouse and then shift to keep those lines straight. So now I have this grid. And again, I can go to view, screen mode, and preview. What I'm going to want to do at this point is I want to zoom in very closely and look at all my edges. And I want to make sure that where my lines meet is nice and clean. So right here, I'd say that's pretty clean. I come down to the bottom and this is not clean. So I'm gonna click on this line. I'm gonna extend it out a little bit. So now I have that sharp, clean corner. Checking all my lines here, making sure nothing's overlapping. This one could be adjusted slightly. Nothing overlapping, everything is clean, no gaps. It all looks good. So that is the start of your a master page for your dates. So now what we have to do is we actually have to add in a guide for all of these dates. And this um, can seem a little tedious, but it is not all that bad, but you will find that um, in part two because I can only record 15 minute videos with this program. So I'm gonna pause here and then I want you to go in and I want you to watch part two.